In American society, it is not only illegal, but also heavily frowned upon for a person to participate in the usage or distribution of addictive substances. Little do many Americans know that their country has actually grown and thrived off of the drug trade. Throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, many countries have seen China as a valuable partner in trade. Much of the Western world wished to attain products from China, but there was just one problem. China only accepted silver as its currency. With no other way of getting around this rule, many countries resorted to fueling the opium addiction in China. Much of America's opium supply came from Turkey and India. Drugs would be illegally imported and distributed around China to drug dealers in exchange for silver. With the silver that America obtained from selling opium to the Chinese people, tea was bought and sent back to the U.S. This tea would later become a major source of income to the suppliers and assist them in becoming very rich. In China, the effects were detrimental. A very large portion of the Chinese population was addicted to opium. The government tried several different approaches, but nothing worked. Meanwhile, in America, people were becoming millionaires. It's funny how many of the key figures in American history can be traced back to the drug trade. In fact, Warren Delano, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's father, built much of his family's wealth from the opium trade with China. So, to sum it all up, America sold opium to Chinese people to get silver to purchase tea from China, all the while making the American opium dealers rich.